In this video, we will understand what is electronegativity, what are the trends in electronegativity across the period and what are the factors affecting electronegativity. We will predict also that based on the difference in the electronegativity of the elements in a compound, whether a compound is ionic or covalent and we will also understand the difference in the electronegativity and electron affinity. So let's first start with what is electronegativity. It is the power of a particular atom that is covalently bonded to another atom to attract the bonding pair of electrons towards itself. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's understand these are the two atoms covalently bonded to each other. Example hydrochloric acid suppose and single electron pair is being shared to form a covalent bond. Now if this atom is electron negative atom then it has a tendency to attract this electron pair bonding pair of electron towards itself and hence the bond ultimately turns out to be polar that is one of the atom is partially negative and the other atom turns out to be partially positive ending up this bond to be a polar bond. So in this case we would say that this atom is an electronegative atom compared to the another atom because it is able to attract the electron pair towards itself. Electronegativity is denoted by a Greek letter chi where it is shown most of the time with a symbol similar to x but at times you represent a value of electronegativity with the help of n and p also. Electronegativity is measured on a Pauling scale. Now Pauling scale is a scale given by a scientist Linus Pauling. Now Linus Pauling is the one who worked on the electronegativity of different atom. Now it is difficult to measure the individual electronegativity of different elements. So what he did was he gave a random value of 2.2 to hydrogen. In some of the videos or in some net information you might find this value as 2.1 also that is also acceptable. Then Linus Pauling took various elements, compared the electronegativity of various elements with hydrogen and gave individual value to each of the elements and this is how the Pauling scale was made. Now let's understand and have a look at some of the values of uh, the electronegativity negativity of different elements say lithium. Lithium has a value of 0.98 and beryllium has a value of 1.57, boron has 2.04 and so on and understand that the Pauling scale values doesn't have any unit. So if we observe then the values are increasing gradually along the period from left to right that is from lithium towards fluorine. Now we haven't considered here the noble gas group 8 because they don't have any electronegativity as they are inert. So if we talk about the trend of the electronegativity along the period then we can say that the electronegativity increases across the period from left to right. And now let's have a look at the electronegativity trends down the group. So let's understand and take an example of group 7 here starting with the fluorine we have a value of 3.98 chlorine with 3.16 bromine with 2.96 iodine with 2.66 so here we can say that the electronegativity value decreases down the group or we can also say that the negativity increases from bottom to top so electronegativity decreases down the group with fluorine as the highest electronegativity in group 7 and we can also observe that in the whole periodic table fluorine is the one with the highest electron negativity with 3.98 value. 
and down here in group 1 frenchium with 0 0.7 as the lowest electronegativity value so here are the trends across the period and down the group for electronegativities now let's understand why are the values showing such a trend by understanding the factors affecting electronegativity the first factor is nuclear charge that is the ability of an atom to attract the electron towards itself that is if the number of protons in an atom is greater then the electronegativity will also be greater and that is the reason that if we go across the period from left to right the electronegativity increases and the reason is that the nuclear charge that is the proton number also increases from left to right with fluorine as the highest proton number in the period 2 and that is the reason that highest nuclear charge with the greater ability to attract the electron toward itself will make the electronegativity power also greater. The next factor is size of the atom. So, if the size of the atom is smaller, it is easier to attract an electron pair towards itself, towards the nucleus. If the size is bigger, size of the atom is bigger, it is difficult to attract an electron on the outer shell because it is attracted less towards the nucleus. So, size of the atom also matters. That is, bigger size will have greater electron affinity. The third factor is shielding effect. Shielding effect means how many electron shells are there in between from the outer shell to the nucleus. So, if greater the number of electron shells, the electron on the outer shell will not be attracted easily towards the nucleus because there are lots of electron which is hindering the attraction from the nucleus. So, that is the reason that if the shielding effect that is the inner shells are more then the electronegativity will be decreasing and that is the reason that down the group as the size increases and the shielding effect increases electronegativity decreases. So, these are the three factors that affects the electronegativity nuclear charge, size of the atom and shielding effect. Next, based on the difference in the electronegativity of two atoms, let us understand whether a compound can be ionic or covalent. So, if the difference in the electronegativity between the two atoms covalently bonded to each other have a difference greater than 2.1, then the character of the bond will be ionic. Now, let us understand this with an example of sodium chloride compound. Now, sodium has an electronegativity value of 0 0.93 and chlorine has a value of 3.16. So, if we calculate a difference between sodium and chlorine, then we have 3.16 minus the value of 0 0.93 which gives us the difference of 2.23. Now, this is bigger than the value of 2.1. So, this compound turns out to be an ionic compound. Now, let us see the next way. If the difference in the electronegativity of the two atoms covalently bonded to each other is between 0 0.5 and 2.1, then the character of the bond is a polar covalent bond. Let us take an example of carbon and oxygen. If we go back and look at the Pauling scale, then the value of carbon is 2.55 and the value of oxygen is 3.44. Now, if you have a look at the difference, then the difference is 0. 8, 9. Now, this is between the range of 0 0.5 and 2.1. So, this is a covalent compound and it is a polar covalent bond or polar covalent compound. Here, if we talk about a single bond, then this is not a compound. It is just a bond which is bonded by 
carbon and oxygen so this bond is a polar bond next if we check the value the difference in the electron negativity which is lower than 0.5 then the character of the bond is going to be covalent but a non polar covalent bond now let's take an example of carbon and hydrogen bond the value of carbon is again 2.55 and the value of hydrogen is 2.2 so the difference is 0.13 now that is lower than the value of 0.5 so carbon and hydrogen bond is going to be a non polar covalent bond so in this way a polling scale helps us to predict whether a compound or a bond is going to be a ionic or covalent and if it's a covalent then the bond is going to be an polar or a non polar bond now it's always seen that there is always a confusion between electron negativity and electron affinity so let's understand the difference what is the difference between electron negativity and electron affinity electron negativity is defined as the chemical property which decides the power of an atom to attract an electron now if such an bond where the electron negativity of an atom is greater and it's a covalent compound then the chemical property of that bond or compound highly depends on the electron negativity of that bond and the property that is the chemical reactions are affected and it reacts accordingly so electronegativity affects the chemical property of a bond or a compound now electron affinity that is defined as the amount of energy liberated when a molecule or a neutral atom acquires an electron from the outside now electron affinity is a method of calculating or defining the amount of energy released or gained now that is something related to the calculation of the energy difference when a reaction takes place so that's the difference main difference between electron negativity and electron affinity and also understand the electron negativity topic is newly added to the syllabus of 9701 chemistry a levels so now this is very important to understand all this so go through the video right from first to last and note down all the points this is also going to be helpful you as making the notes the text of this videos can be used as also the notes and will also help you to answer the board questions